Papillons aren't your ordinary average lap dogs. Like, did you know that one Papillon became the first dog to win all three major dog shows in a single year? But now we have evidence suggesting these dogs are one of the oldest European breeds. Interested in learning why Papillons are one of the most intelligent toy dog breeds? If questions like these intrigue you, stick around. In today's episode, we're counting down the 10 most interesting Papillon facts that you probably never heard of. And that all starts right now on the Smart Canine, the only show that explores the most interesting stories and facts behind dogs. But before we get to the incredible Papillon, hit that subscribe button and notification bell for more facts like these. And if you want to learn more about the Papillon, make sure to smash the like button. Number 10. There's one Papillon that inherited a ton of money. Believe it or not, there's one Papillon that's sort of rich. Well, at least compared to other dogs. When Oscar-winning actress Lauren Bacall passed away in 2014, she made sure to take good care of her family, including her loyal Papillon. The pet pooch named Sophie was given $10,000 to continue her luxurious lifestyle that she grew accustomed to over the years. In fact, the money left for Sophie was the first item on Lauren's will. The rest of Lauren's estate went to the kids, including her loyal maid. With $10,000 for a dog, it really makes you wonder just what kind of lavish life Sophie lived with her celebrity owner. Number 9. Papillons were named after their signature ears. Have you ever wondered where the Papillon got its name? The word Papillon actually translates to butterfly in French. But what does the butterfly have to do with these dogs? During the early days of the 17th century, nearly all toy spaniels had ears that dropped down. So when the court of Louis XIV developed this toy spaniel with upright ears, they were given the name Papillon due to the ears' resemblance to a butterfly. And throughout all these years, the name stuck for obvious reasons. Number 8. Papillons have one of the strictest and most precise breed standards. The American Kennel Club, or AKC, is notorious for having extremely descriptive dog breed standards with strict guidelines. However, no breed standard may be as strict and precise as the Papillons. Not only does the standard specify whether the dog should always be a certain color, but also what colors and how partial the colors can be. It even indicates where the colors or patches may appear on the coat. Sounds confusing? Well, yeah, we think so too. But the reality is that it's not really that important. All the peons are loving and happy dogs no matter how they look. Number 7. There's a different variety of the Papillon. Yes, there's another variety of these wonderful dogs. And they're differentiated by one very significant trait. The ears. We already know that Papillons have large, upright, butterfly-looking ears. But there's a version of the Papillon where the ears hang down. We don't call these dogs the same name. Rather, they're referred to as the Faleen. Believe it or not, Faleen was the most popular variety back in the 17th century. However, by the 19th century, the upright ears became more fashionable, which led to the rise of the Papillon. The Papillon's popularity grew so quickly that the Faleen nearly went extinct. Fortunately, the Faleen is still alive and well today, although it's still not as popular as the Papillon. Number 6. Papillons are used as ratters. So what exactly is a ratter? Ratter dogs typically refer to dog breeds developed to help capture and hunt down rats. While Papillons were originally bred for companionship, they did have a period where their ancestors were multi-purpose ratting dogs. And yes, I do realize the petite size of the Papillon. Standing at just 10 inches tall and weighing less than 10 pounds, Papillons most likely won't be able to straight up catch and kill a large rat. Instead, they had to approach ratting with a unique strategy. Unlike other popular ratting dogs, Papillons will play the long game. These little dogs would chase the rats and taunt them until they become too tired to fight back. Eventually, these worn down rats would give up and the Papillons would go in for the easy target. It's a lot more effective than you would imagine. Number 5. No one knows for sure where the Papillon originated from. Despite the prevalence of the Papillon today, we still don't know exactly where they came from. Given historic artworks, we don't know that Papillons were around at least during the 1200s in Europe. But even so, historians still have questions on the origins of their ancestors. For example, some believe that Papillons actually originated from China as they closely resemble the Chinese Pekingese. Others claim that the Papillon may in fact be related to the Japanese Chin instead. And then there's a large camp that believes these dogs were always in Europe. In other words, the Papillon could have just been a downsized version of older Eastern European dog breeds. But despite where these dogs actually came from, a lot of credit has been given to European countries, specifically France, Spain, and Belgium, for refining the breed. Number 4. 
one Papillon smashed the breed record for the Masters Agility Competition at the WKC Dog Show. There is perhaps no dog show as famous as renowned as the Westminster Dog Show. And on arguably the biggest stage in the world, one Papillon shined the brightest at the 2019 Masters Agility Competition. A three-year-old Papillon named Gabby, who stood no higher than 8 inches tall, not only won the Agility Championship for a class, but also set the all-time record for the breed. She completed the course in just 39.31 seconds, which is only second to a Border Collie named Ver. What made Gabby such an internet sensation is the fact that such a small dog had lightning-quick agility. Fans and social media were quick to praise the small dog, who in a way was a huge inspiration to all of us. Never underestimate those small legs of a Papillon. Number 3. A Papillon has become the first and only dog to ever win all three major international dog shows in a single year. Gabby is certainly a legend among the AKC show dog community. However, there may not be an individual dog as decorated and famous as the Papillon named Kirby. Kirby was the first and only dog to have won all three major international dog shows in a single year. Till this day, a few dogs have come close to matching Kirby's amazing feat, but none have actually accomplished the elusive hat trick. The career that Kirby has had as a show dog is something that most aspiring show dogs can only dream of. Not only did he win plenty of championships, but he also became the oldest dog to win Best in Show at Westminster. In 2005, the 14-year-old Kirby returned to competition by entering the veterans class, where he eventually swept all three ribbons. Another fun fact, Kirby's real name is actually Loteki Supernatural Bien. Number 2. They're the most intelligent toy dogs When it comes to toy dogs or even small dogs, no breed can compare to the Papillon in dog intelligence, or at least in obedience and working intelligence, which is one of the three major components of dog intelligence. According to canine psychologist and researcher Stanley Corin, Papillons are the eighth smartest dog breeds in the world. But what does this actually mean for your Papillon? It means they're crazy fast learners. You can teach a Papillon a basic command in fewer than five repetitions. That's like teaching them something in just a few minutes. They're also some of the most obedient dogs in the world. For example, Papillons are able to obey a known command on the first try with a 95% or better success rate. So just because the Papillon has a small head and thus small brain doesn't mean that they can't compete with the best in terms of dog intelligence. Number 1. Papillons are one of the oldest European breeds as evident by classic art. Do you know how we know Papillons are at least 700 to 800 years old? It's because they were frequently featured in historic classic artworks. Some of the most famous European painters from the era, such as Rembrandt, Rubens, Goya, Velazquez, and Van Dyck, have all featured the Papillon in their works. For example, there's Lavinia Fontana's Lady with a Lap Dog from 1595. Don't forget Titan's classic portrait of Clarissa Strozzi, which features a small child with her loyal companion, Papillon. And of course, there's Rembrandt's portrait of a lady with a lap dog. A timeless classic that features a Papillon doing what he does best, that is, cuddling on his owner's lap. Currently, there are hundreds of known examples of Papillons in fine art. It's simply amazing to think how big of an influence these dogs were back then. So, which Papillon fact was your favorite? Did we miss any that deserve to be on this list? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to The Smart Canine for the most interesting stories and facts behind dogs.